Hey there everyone, Captain Beards here, bring you another Dragon Ball Legends video. Let's get it. Alright guys, so this is going to be 3 to 5 tips on starting Dragon Ball Legends, starting strong, and you know, kind of how to approach this game. Now, you're probably wondering why is this level 62 giving me advice? I did have an old account that was like level 180 something, um, but then I decided to start all over when uh, Gogeta dropped the new Gogeta just because he dropped with Brawly's banner, and I went really, really, really hard for Brawly. And I was just like, you know what, they're just throwing Broly on every banner, so I might as well re-roll and start with the two strongest units in the game. So that's what I did, and that's why I am only level 62 here. Now, I have been kind of slacking on the game a little bit, but since the anniversary is coming up, I decided to really get back into it because, you know, I do like Dragon Ball Z in all cases, and I think this game is fantastic, so you should definitely try getting into it. So tip number one is going to be start when there's an event up now i know this is kind of common sense and i know a lot of you guys are probably starting the game when there's an event coming but a lot of people want to start the game in the middle of nowhere which is completely fine but if you do go to menu go to summon and figure out what banners are currently up at the moment and go by then now if you are starting right now i highly suggest probably something like this banner would be good to go for um just because if you do a multi, you can do a total of three multis, and if you do a multi, you are guaranteed a sparking on this banner. So these other banners, like this one, you're not guaranteed, and I believe this one is a this one is a trap banner, guys. This banner here, a lot of you will look at, and some people will disagree with me here, but I believe this banner is a trap banner. You should stay away from it. Um, but you know, if you do combine some of these units together, you can make something work there. But I say avoid that banner. Um, and this banner first anniversary obviously so I do say definitely when you start the game if you can build up a thousand corona crystals at least hit one multi on this so that way you're guaranteed one of these sparking units here so but they're all really good units here and then they can all be used quite well so yeah let's see here and a bunch of extremes, which is A-OK -okay because you're guaranteed a sparking. So if you could at least start with Super Gogeta here, that would be fantastic. Because even though the new Gogeta came out, that Gogeta is still really freaking good. So I definitely recommend if you are going to start right now, today, make sure you at least hit a multi on the Legend Selection banner. So that way you can start with the sparking. That is tip number one. Or, or and a little addition to tip number one, save up as many of your... Uh, Chrono Crystals as pro possible and wait for the event to drop, which is going to be the, uh, let's see here, new section, which is going to be the Legends Anniversary banner coming, which is going to be two split banners. I called this a long time ago on my old YouTube channel. I said, watch, they're going to do a Dokkan Festival thing, a dual Dokkan Festival thing, and they absolutely are, which one is going to be Vegeta, Buhan, and Vegito, and the other one is going to be Goku. Uh, Golden Frieza and Super Vegito, which is really freaking cool that they did that, but it's a little bit money money hungry. I, I see what they're doing here, which, you know, I, I caught on to you, Dragon Ball. I caught on to you. But, but besides that, guys, so which banner should you go for when this uh, banners when these banners drop? I'm going to do a whole separate video on that, so do not worry about that. We just got to get to know these characters a little bit more. But besides that, that is tip number one. All right, tip number two, shallots and missions. Now, shallot is a very important character, um, just not just because of missions, but also because he is a light type, so he has nobody that's strong against him unless you're fighting dark types in the story. Um, but besides that, let's go ahead and take a look at events here, and then you have the shallot upgrade missions. Now, I know this starts at a little bit of a lower um, start here, but check this out, guys, right? If you raise Shallot to level 3000, you're going to get 100 Trinity Crystals. And this starts at a lower level. So I think level, like get them to level 1000, you're going to get 100 Trinity Crystals. Not Trinity Crystals, Chrono Crystals. Too much Langris or Jesus. All right, so, and then you got unlock 200 boost panels. Boom, you're going to get a bunch of rewards there. Unlock 300 boost panels, 200 Chrono Crystals. Unlock 360 boost panels, 100 Chrono Crystals. And look at clear part four, book five, chapter eight on normal one time. 
and you're gonna get a golden ticket here. This is a sparking guaranteed ticket, so that means once I use this, I'm gonna get another sparking. So do not ignore shallot. Let's go to character section here. As you see, my shallot is level 2600 here. I'm currently working on his um, soul boosting panel here. But yes, he is a hero unit, so he does kind of suffer from the hero stats. But that is a-okay. There is a rumor floating around that they are going to raise his um, hero to sparking, which our hero to extreme, which I think would be freaking phenomenal, and I do hope they do this. But besides that, he is the only character that uh, um, develops through the story. So right now, he can go to SSJ1, which is freaking cool, and his stats do increase. I mean, look at this. He goes from 300A to, this is not 100% boost um, in the soul boost charts, by the way, to 450, just going Super Saiyan, which is amazing. Now, he does get SSJ2. I believe that is unlocked right now. So if you go through the story mode, you can go ahead and unlock that, which is really freaking cool. Um, and I'm pretty sure those stats are going to increase even more. So... Cannot wait for that and definitely work on your shallot guys work on his level make sure he keeps up with your team and also because he has a great Z ability right so look at his Z ability right now so sand max base health during battle so 13% to sand max base health which is really cool and then if you get him to 5 star 15% so very cool most of the time you're going to be using sand sands are busted in this game guys obviously sands are the number one team in this game which is you know obvious but yeah, so Shallot, definitely work on him. That is tip number two. So Shallot and his missions. Tip number three. Tip number three is going to be story. So focus on grinding out as much of the story as possible. Um, if you are if you can't 100% the missions, that's A-OK. -okay. You can always go back and do them. So after I do go through the whole thing on hard, I am going to be going back on normal and 100%ing all these missions so that I am going to be doing, but since I'm just trying to get as many Trinity, um, Trinity Crystal, I keep saying it, Corona Crystals as much as possible, I'm just trying to go through, complete some of the missions, and get that uh, first time reward there, that is what I'm after. So, the reason why I say focus on the story and um, try to get as many done as possible is because you really want to build up your Chrono Crystals, guys. The new event is coming up, and this is the greatest way to get these Chrono Crystals. That, and of course, the side missions, which we're going to go over now. So, this is a little bonus tip on tip number three, which is missions, right? So, through the story and through events, you can get some of these missions done. Obviously, you got your dailies, which I say make sure you guys complete your dailies. You got your Z missions, so these are li little great bonuses you can do. And look at, so when you beat the missions, guys, not only, look at, for instance, clear part one, book six, chapter one, hard, one time. So not only am I going to get the first time reward from the mission itself, which is 10 Chrono Crystals, when I beat it from the Z missions, I'm going to get an extra 10 Chrono Crystals here, guys. So... Doing every mission at least once is going to guarantee you 20 Chrono Crystals. So that is really freaking good. And that can add up with as many missions as there are. I mean, look at this. This keeps keeps going here. Just keeps going. And these missions get replaced every single time you beat the previous one. It gets replaced by a new one until you complete all the story missions on all the difficulties, which is normal and hard. Uh, so different things, make friend requests, all that other stuff, finish adventures, and stuff like that. So making sure you are worried about not just the story missions, but also the Z missions and little side missions here. Now, I do recommend as soon as you hit level 1500 with your character, or if you can outskill it, go over to the event, go to Rising Battle for Vegito. And I don't have it here, but his, level, his first mission, Battle 1, is level 1500 if you can beat that that is awesome because you are guaranteed to get vegeto so i'll show you him right now let's go over to him here and right here boom you are guaranteed the sparking vegeto which he's actually a really freaking good unit and i think you guys should definitely try to get him and then work on him all right he's part of the fusion wars saiyans and proterra so he does fit on saiyan teams which is absolutely perfect and his Z ability boosts Fusion Warriors, which is pretty nice. Fusion Warriors defense, of course, which is pretty nice because that means he can work with um, Gogeta. He can work with the other Gogeta. He can work with uh, Gotenks. He can work with 
the new um, Vegito coming out. So yeah, so this game has no boundaries when it comes to uh, multiple named characters. So you can use all four, five, six different Vegitos or seven different Brawlies, whatever you want to do. Eight different Vegitas, it doesn't matter. The game just doesn't care. You can have same name characters. It is not like Dokkan Battle. So those are my three tips to really start the game strong, guys. Start when there's an event if you can. If not, at least try to get your hands on a couple sparkings. Uh, tip number two is make sure you're working on your shallot and his missions just because you're going to increase your chrono crystals quite fast there And he's actually a good unit. Do not doubt him and tip number three Blow through the story as fast as possible So that way not only can you raise up your shallot from um, from normal to SSJ to then SSJ 2 but also to increase those chrono crystals even higher and then that is the tips there so Make sure you guys are having fun with the game. That's the most important thing because if you're playing the game and you're not having fun, you're not going to have a good time period. So make sure you guys are at least having fun with the game. And use st strategy, guys. This game is a high-skilled base game. If you think this game is um, purely, oh, yeah, I need to have the best sparkings in the game and I will win, win, win. That is actually a lie. You can actually quite outskill out people in this game. I've seen some crazy level, high-level plays. So... Make sure you guys understand that that if you think you you suck at the game, just keep playing, get better, and you'll see your uh, progress being made. Other than that, guys, if you want to know anything else, or if you want to see a video on anything else in Dragon Ball Legends, please comment down below and let me know. Because I do love Dragon Ball. I do love Dragon Ball Legends, Dragon Ball Dokkan Battle, and I did main this game for a long time, but then Larry Grisser came out and took my attention. But I do definitely want to get back into it. I mean, there's a lot of hype surrounding the first anniversary. And I hope a lot of you guys are joining now and having a blast. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, stay positive. Peace out.